Hello and welcome to the first video of Module 1, Day Trading Preparation in the Complete Day Trading Course by Wealthy Education. This video I'm taking a look at trading view for chart analysis and paper trading. So the first couple of things you should learn is trend lines and how to draw them. So you can go right here on this submenu and you can see that I clicked on the arrow and there's several different types that you can get. But a typical trend line is really all we're looking for. You just click. You hold, you drag, you click again, and there's your trend line. It's drawn quite nicely on the chart. You can drag it around. Uh, you can obviously move it in whatever direction you need. Uh, you can right click and delete, or you can just highlight it like so. That's highlighted because of the bubbles, and then hit delete, it'll go away. So you can also do channels. Click on this little arrow, you go to parallel channel. Parallel channel works very similar. Uh, you can drag and click, click again so that that trend line is drawn, and then you drag up or down, depending on which way you need it drawn. And you can see that that, once I click out of all of that, draws a nice parallel channel that you can see that's uh, very nicely drawn on the chart. It's one of my favorite actual uh, features of TradingView because it is so cleanly designed. So how do we use trend lines? Well, trend lines are, are pretty straightforward. And, you know, granted, this is a daily chart on, on U.S. Steel, but it's going to be the same no matter what. But you notice how the buyers continue to come in. So in a situation like that, you just simply buy every time it gets tested. There are a couple of parameters that you want to see. You want to see a trend line tested at least three times, which it would have been by here on the daily chart. So that would have been an area of interest. That would have been an area of interest. That that, that, and so on. Now you can see that we have clearly gapped lower and broken that trend line. So that shows that the trend may be changing from a longer term perspective. Now day traders, of course, won't necessarily be using the, uh, you know, daily chart. It does give you an idea of where the market may be going longer term. And here on the 15 minute chart, you can draw a downtrending line. And you can see that we did pierce above it a little bit, but clearly we're in a downtrend. We sell off every time that we get close to it. And this little bit here brings up an interesting point. There are different ways to avoid being faked out, and that could have been a fake out for you. Some people say it needs to break 3% in value above there. You know, Some people say it needs to close above there on an hourly candle or a four-hour candle. There are a multitude of ways to uh, kind of not worry about uh, being false breakouts, or there are some who are just typically, you know, very stringent about it. So for those people, you know, you would have formed a trend line there. You would have sold there. You would have probably sold there on that gap. And then the fall you rally up here, you would have sold and you would have gotten knocked out. Uh, so that would have been a loss after a couple of wins. And that's essentially what you're, you're counting on with a trend line you're counting on um, that eventually you will get stopped out. But in the meantime, what you're hoping is, is you get multiple buying opportunities. So, you know, maybe it's like, you know, on a really good one, it might be six to one, you get six wins, one loss. Well, you're making money and that's your goal. Channel trading is a little bit different in the sense that, um, for myself, I think it's a little riskier because you're playing both, um, you're playing both uh, up and down trend, and because of that, you're also playing both uh, with the longer term trend and against the longer term trend. So as I draw this one on spread, you know you can make an argument for this being a uh, decent channel. And what you would do is you would look to sell as you got to the top of it, uh, look to buy at the bottom. But ultimately, channel trading is a little dicey. Um, it tends to work better on the higher time frames. You know, in a situation like this, there's another way you could look at this. You can say, okay, well, we have this area here that's been broken above. So obviously we've, we've gotten pretty strong. Uh, you could make an argument for a trend line there. Well, you could just buy there. It's, it's a little safer to do it. Plus you want to see some volume rising, but those are a couple of ways of, of looking at it. Uh, channel training is not impossible to make money off of, but it the the very fact that it involves counter trend trading does make it a little riskier. So that's you know that's something that you should be aware of. Uh, it doesn't mean it can't be done. It just means that there is that higher amount of risk. 
You'll notice that the channel has a dashed line in the middle. That's essentially fair value. That's midpoint. So that's a way to look at it as well. Uh, but again, uh, channel trading is possible and it can be good. Uh, but you have to realize that, like in this case, when you're selling uh, against that type of move, you are going counter trend. And that will be especially true if you were to do it, you know, on a higher time frame, like a daily chart, you can really get into a little bit of trouble eventually. So keep that in mind. Not impossible. You want to line up the right candlestick, candlestick pattern, that type of thing with any trend line, either a single trend line or a parallel, which is essentially, you know, two trend lines parallel to each other. And uh, look for the right price action at those levels. Remember, trend lines in support resistance, that type of thing, is only going to be a guide stick as to where you go. So I also mentioned that you can do paper trading. And um, that's pretty simple to do. You just go down to the bottom and there's uh, a panel here that if you click on paper trading or strategy tester or whatever, uh, the editors, you can do, uh, you know, like coding, if you know that, you can write notes. Uh, but the paper trading pulls up and it starts out with an account of $10,000. Now, if you don't have a paper, paper trading account, there's a tab here and it'll ask you, you know, what, what broker do you wish to use? And you're looking for paper trading by TradeView. Uh, it's a practice account. There's no cost involved. And then you just simply go up here and you can right click and you can click trade, and you can do a sell limit, sell stop, and these are orders that we'll talk about uh, in a future video. Or you can create uh, new orders. Now, this is based upon where uh, my cursor is. Um, the higher um, level here, obviously 778. And if I want to trade at 572, it's easier just to click create a new order because that way you don't have to line up there. And you can choose your type of order, the price, that type of thing. Now the market's closed, so the prices aren't moving. You can put a stop loss, take profit, uh, quantity, et cetera, and you know, sell, buy, pretty straightforward. And then this will simply keep track of your trades, execute the orders as needed, and it shows you whether or not your strategy works. Excellent way to practice day trading. And to get rid of this panel, you just click the hide button, and it goes right back to the normal chart.